It's time for our artist spotlight. We have so many creative individuals here in the Treasure Valley and one upcoming director here in Boise is making some waves. She is Lauren Havel and she's here to tell us about her budding career as a filmmaker. Plus her feature film will be available at the Morrison Center for you to come watch. Here's the best part. She's only 18. This is actually her third feature film. You started when you were 13 years old, right? Yes. I okay, did. tell us how this, this spark was created in you. Yeah, so when I was 13, I went to a film camp, a local film camp, and I just immediately fell in love with the craft of filmmaking. I'd always been into just the arts in general, but I kind of felt like filmmaking was different. It was just, it took everything I loved about the arts and put it all into one thing. And so I just started pursuing it. Okay, so what about filmmaking though do you love? Do you like the visual aspect? Do you like how you can kind of tell a story through a camera angle? You like the act? What, what is it about filmmaking versus theater or versus, you know, some other form of art? that you love yeah. so much? I love, uh, I love cinematography. I'm a okay. cinematographer and I love how every frame is kind of like you're creating a painting. So mm -hmm. it's almost like a different version of painting or drawing that's very, very visual. Um, I also just love how film is so powerful. Mm -hmm in people's lives and how it can impact people and spread messages that need to be heard. I feel like it's a really impactful um, art form. It is. It is a really impactful art form, right? It's a, it, it, it evokes emotion. It creates connection. It does, does so much. Okay, so 18 now, <laughs> your third feature film. Yep. Tell us about your first few feature films. Yes, so okay. my first short film, okay. um, I Hate Kate, it was an anti-bullying film. Um, nice and we poured ourselves into that, not really thinking much of it. It was just kind of for fun, and that went viral on YouTube. It got like 7.5 million views, which nice. was totally oh, wonderful. unexpected. Yes, <laughs> and during that, before I'd even posted that, I was doing my first feature film, because um, I always was a big dreamer as a kid, and a feature film seemed so exciting to me. So that first feature film uh, was screened in. It was about screen addiction. And then my second feature film, Not Broken, is about dyslexia because my whole family is dyslexic, so. Oh, wow, okay, and this is the film then that's premiering at the Morrison Center? The Ground Beneath Her Feet. Is oh, God, Center. oh, yes. okay. I did a so short tell film, two feature films. Got it, it. okay. So tell us about, you said The Ground Beneath Your Feet. Our Feet, yeah. Our Feet, okay, tell us about that film. Yeah, so The Ground Beneath Our Feet is a, story that follows a family and their trials and tribulations from the 1950s to today. It's a cautionary tale about what happens to a nation that turns its back on God. And yet it's hopeful because as I said, my main goal with filmmaking is to inspire others and spread hope. Wonderful, okay, and then this is, uh, tell me about the collaboration, how this film came together. What role did you play in the creation of this, of this film? How'd you go about casting? T tell us how this all came together. Yeah, so I was director, editor, cinematographer. Um, my mom was screenwriter. She's always been my screenwriter and it's been so amazing to work with her. And we cast this one, we held auditions. Um, we um, did that kind of through Facebook, so there were like some homeschool groups on Facebook that we pulled from, mm -hmm. people who know other people. It was kind of all over the place, but it came together in such a beautiful way. Um, just so many people from our community. There were over 200 people who came oh, wonderful. and were actors and extras. Yeah, yeah that, that, that's a great turnout. Yes. How fantastic. Yeah. Okay, and so what do you love about this story in particular? I love how unique it is. I feel okay. like it's very different. It's very new. Um, just the fact that it's bouncing back and forth between two different centuries keeps mm -hmm. it really fresh. I love the characters. They feel so real to me. Um, and then just, again, the message. I feel like it's a message that everyone needs to hear. It's super powerful and mm -hmm. I believe life-changing. And you believe life-changing. Mm -hmm. So who do you hope comes out to the Morrison Center though? to see this film. Yeah, I mean, this film is really for everyone, uh, for our whole community, people who love film, people who love story, supporting local talent. Um, it's a multi-generational film, and I believe everyone will really love it. I like that. I like how you said multi-generational, right? Because like you'd mentioned, it goes from the 50s to 
now. Mm -hmm. And so hopefully there's gonna be some threads for all generations to identify with and kind of see themselves a bit in, yes. right? Yeah. Um, what's next after this? What do you hope to do with this film once it shows at the Morrison Center? We are really hoping to get a distributor and release it in theaters. We have a few leads, um, but we don't exactly know yet. So. Okay, super exciting. So how do people go watch? Yes, so it will be premiering at the Morrison Center on June 11th. Uh, the world premiere, no one's ever seen it before. There will be vintage cars, red oh, carpet, fun. an after party. It's going to be a super, super fun event. All right, so come out to the Morrison Center June 11th. Thank you so much and congratulations Thank to you. you. Cannot wait to see what else you got coming up. All right, everyone, stick around. More to come right here on Idaho Today right after the break. Treasure Valley.